Welcome to the course, Learn Swift UI by Building Instagram Using Firestore as a Backend. In this video, let's take a look at the features we will learn to build within the course. First, we will have a login screen when we start to open the application. On this screen, we let the user enter their information, such as email and password. Then, we press the Sign In button. The application will connect to the Firestore to check the login information. If successful, the application will switch to the home screen. The home screen will display all the posts of the user that the logged in user is following. Here, we may like or dislike a post. In the profile screen, we can view the information of the currently logged in user and the list of posts. We can also use segmented control to display posts as a table or grid. At the top left of the navigation bar, we have a button to switch to the search screen. Here, we can type text into the search box to search for user information. We can then view the details of the user. We can also follow this user by clicking the follow button. After that, the number of followers will update accordingly. Now, if we go back to the home screen and hit refresh, we will see the new posts from the user we just followed. The posts are sorted in chronological order. The latest posts will appear on the top. We will also learn how to build the real-time chat feature. Users can send text and photo messages. So let's try to send a photo from the photo library. We will choose this photo. It will be sent in real time. Next, we're going to log into this account to see how things work. First of all, we need to log out of our current account, then log into the account we want. At the top right of this navigation bar, click on the message button. We will see the inbox screen here. This screen will include all conversations of the currently logged in user. As soon as we send a new message, the inbox screen will update immediately. We will also learn how to get the user's current location, create a new post including photos and captions. The post will be uploaded after the user clicks the share button. After that, the new post will be displayed on the top of the home screen. Not only that, we also have a discover screen, which shows popular posts. This means that the post has more likes that will appear first. We can also view popular posts as a table or grid. And finally, we will build the activities screen to display notifications such as when someone likes or comments on the post of the logged in user. We can also comment on each post. As soon as a comment is created, all users viewing the post will see the new comment in real time. We will use Swift UI in this course. Swift UI is a brand new framework that allows us to design and develop user interfaces with way less code in a declarative way. Swift UI is completely based on code. However, the syntax is very easy to understand and can quickly be previewed with automatic preview. By using Swift UI, we can also build user interfaces for any Apple device using just one set of tools and API. We also learn how to use MVVM design pattern for this application. Of course, we will also need a server to host the database and implement the business logic. We're going to use Cloud Firestore from Firebase and Google to structure our database. Firebase is one of the most popular choices for app developers to replace their app's backend. One reason for its popularity is that Firebase is hosted and run by Google, which means the servers are powerful and reliable. So you do not have to worry about the stability of your app's backend. On top of that, Firebase supports nearly all kinds of platforms, including iOS, Android, and web. We will also use the cloud function for Firebase to automatically run the backend code so that there's no need to manage and scale our own server. By building a complete application from scratch, you will master the Swift UI framework and become a professional iOS developer in a few hours. See you in the course.